Wavelab Pro 9 offers some really insightful audio metering. It used to be that many people would have a separate screen dedicated to metering their audio in earlier versions of Wavelab, but with the prevalence of laptop and single screen systems, the user interface has been updated to accommodate metering within the main editing window. So we have meters that are kind of broken down into different zones here. So we have, this is, we could think of this as a frequency based zone, maybe a level zone, and we have phase scope and time code. Now each of these zones has different meters by default, and you could select meters by clicking on the name on the tab, like so. Now each of these meters can be docked within these different zones, or they can be freely moved and undocked, or placed in very convenient areas with a unique user interface. So if I grab the tab name, we can see these little squares, and these would allow us to position the meters in different areas. So if I want my face scope to be above the entire metering pane, or if I want it to be below, I could just click right here on this zone. If I wanted to move this to different metering areas, I could just hover over those different areas. So within a zone, if I want it to be stacked on top or stacked on bottom, I could also, if I want it to be tabbed, select the center square. And now you could just tab back and forth between those different metering options. If I want it to be kind of hidden and docked on the right hand side, I can now just click here and now expose that. So again, let's say if I want it to be in the dock or conversely, if I want it to be on the right hand side to be there or all the way to the opposite side with my left hand side. So you can see that you can customize the meters really however you want to. Now, a convenient way that's often missed to switch between different meters is kind of an unconventional keyboard shortcut. Uh, so usually you have keyboard shortcuts, you have a modifier key like Alt, Control, Command. Uh, but this one uses the number keys on your computer keyboard above the QWERTY letters, followed by the letter Y. So if I wanted to play back my audio, I could just kind of look at it here. So if I hit one plus Y, that will give me my metering, my peak and RMS metering that we can see right here. Two followed by Y would give me my loudness units or LUFs or my R128 loudness metering. Three Y would show me my phase scope. So if I didn't have my phase scope turned on, three Y is my phase scope. 4Y would give me my spectroscope, 5Y my frequency base spectrometer. Our bit meter indicating how many audio bits is in the project or in the file is 6Y and that's by default docked to the left hand side. 7Y will show me my oscilloscope, 8Y my wave scope, and 9Y my time code position. So you can see that if you wanted these windows to be freely docked and placed on a separate monitor, or if you wanted to customize them, the highly accurate metering plus the flexibility of the keyboard shortcuts to see different meters at once really make for unique insight into what's happening with your digital audio. If you found this video useful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.